Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Carmen Paulina Aleman, aka Renaissance Muse. Happy October, happy fall. And so last year since I did a pumpkin carving, I thought we could do something this year. And when I went to the store, I saw these really cool cupcakes with the frosting. And I was like, oh, that'd be so cool. So we could bake together, so we should do it. And so the instructions seem pretty easy. I've um, baked um, like the Funfetti, um, the Blue Box cakes, those are a lot of fun. Um, and I made cupcakes for the first time like a few months ago and I was like scared. I was like, oh my gosh, I wonder if they're gonna be, is it gonna be easy, is it gonna be hard? It was pretty easy, so let's do some Halloween themed cupcakes. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more videos coming up. So let's get started. to get half cup of water half cup of oil and three whole eggs so i've got my measuring cup here my three eggs and oil this is actually olive oil it's not avocado oil i actually ended up washing this and putting olive oil <laughs> inside it avocado oil was really good um i'm just used to olive oil so i washed this really nice container and i have olive oil in here so let's get started so I need to set the oven at 350 degrees. There we go. and it said tad water and my mom was like there's more fr it's they become fluffier if you add milk and so since i'm lactose intolerant now that i'm older i buy these sprouts um oat milk the organic oat milk it's really yummy i recommend it if anybody is lactose intolerant um i'm very lactose intolerant i can't even do cashew or any nut milks almond milk i couldn't i did that and it would just hurt my stomach so oat milk has really worked for my stomach and so i'm going to use one cup of the organic oat milk shake it up, shake it up that's what it says <laughs> okay so it's one cup of water but i'm going to use the milk get to beat it so it says on the box to beat the cake for two minutes but i always beat it for longer i do about five minutes because i believe that the ingredients like need more time to like kind of like blend together and so um i like beating it longer and um yeah that's what i do it's looking pretty yummy it's like getting thick, the consistency. Like, it's nice and thick. So, so 
we're right now at we're at three minutes I do enjoy baking and apparently anytime I bake anything even like these little box cakes or cupcakes um, I do get compliments <laughs> I'm like it's the milk instead of the secret is I use milk instead of bar <laughs> and I beat the batter longer than two minutes that's the secret I remember when I was a kid I told I asked my mom I was like mom what's your secret for the food tasting so good like what's your what's the secret recipe and she whispers, she's like, you want to know what the secret recipe is? And I was like, yeah, what is it? And she's like, love. And I was like, oh. And you could totally tell that my mom makes her food with so much love. She does. It's like delicious. Okay, I think we're pretty good. We're at like five minutes, so. And I couldn't find the things I used to fork. So I think it looks pretty ready to put inside the cupcake mold. It says to coat the bottom of the pan with no stick cooking spray or shortening and a flour dusting. I actually don't have any shortening or flour dusting, but what I do, and I don't have any spray, but what I do is I put butter um, to coat it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. oven is ready so now it's time to put the cupcake batter into the cupcake mold let's see I'm excited cook for there are actually 12 cupcakes so if it says half full it says 19 to 23 minutes so we're just they look yummy yummy they're out they look a little brown but they're actually nice and soft yay time to take this little glass tray i got at the dollar store it's like two bucks or three bucks it's all these cute macaroons I don't have a toothpick, but what I do is I like poking them like that and checking to see if they're they're fully cooked. But the but but by the look of the how they look brownish, yeah, they're all cooked really nicely. So here are the cupcakes. I'm gonna, they're cooled down now. I'm gonna decorate them with the frosting, and I'm only gonna do like half probably a frosting because my sister doesn't like frosting um but i don't have one of those like little like for what the chefs use you know to put um to decorate their pastries i have a ziploc bag and i'm gonna cut the bottom just the corner a little bit i'm gonna put this inside and then just use it I just pulled off the I pulled it off I didn't do it with my teeth I know it kind of looks like it I just pulled it off with my hands and now I'm gonna decorate Let's see how, do, how do the chefs do this and then just squeeze there you go something tiny <laughs> I'm not gonna fill up the whole cupcake not a lot of people in my family like a lot of frosting just something tiny <laughs> and then I'm gonna put some of these some of these confetti is it confetti? No, it's one of these sprinkles. Oh my gosh, it's confetti. Sprinkle. It's all doing this. I'm kind of scared to like put too much on. I like. <laughs> Did 
they like all ended up in the tray. So here we go. Yummy. So there you have it, cupcakes. And so let's try it. Let's see if it tastes good. Mmm. They're fluffy. Mmm. Mmm. You just need milk. <laughs> So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more videos. And thank you for watching and making cupcakes with me. I hope you all have a very safe Halloween and a, a beautiful rest of your fall. Enjoy your fall. So thank you for watching and please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more videos. Bye!